I'm stranded uh, on a deserted island. I've got no food other than kelp, and my only resource is a lonely tree. But despite that, I'm going to survive 100 days here and thrive in the process. Also, a cookie god keeps tweeting me about how he's going to beat me to 4 million subs, so please don't let him win. J just go and get your grandma to subscribe or something. I don't have very much to work with here, apart from one tree, so the wood will be very useful. I've no idea how I'm going to get food, unless I can get seeds. One of these has to drop seeds, please. It's not looking good, is it? It's it's really not looking good at all. Oh, we got one. Perfect. Make that two, in fact. All right, that, that's good news. So now I'll make my way down to grab stone, and that'll let me make loads of tools, including a hoe. A hoe is going to be important so I can plant the seeds. I've also got another sapling. That's absolutely huge. Let's place that right there. And I actually got two saplings. Fantastic. Now I need some unsuspecting fish. There's got to be some around here somewhere. Aha! Another great source of food. And down in this ravine, have we got any coal? We have, but I'm going to drown if I go for that. So just give me one moment and I'm going back in. Right, really quickly, mine this up. There we go. Got one. And then it's time for food source number three, the kelp. And not only will kelp be a great food source, well actually it'll be a terrible food source, it will also make a great fuel when I turn it into blocks. That's nine smelted and turned into a dried kelp block, which can then go back in, smell more. It's completely renewable and it's completely fantastic. Plus it's quicker than waiting for that stupid, those stupid seeds to grow. I don't even know why I wanted them. A tree is also grown. Now the next issue is... I have no way to make a bed. So it looks like I'm staying up tonight. There's no way for me to sleep. So obtaining lots more dried kelp will be my task for tonight. And after a night of that, I've got quite a bit of kelp to go at. So I'll munch on this cooked cod, eat kelp, and dig down in search of a cave. Not a traditional cave, but I have found a water one, which seems to connect to the ocean. Not really what I'm looking for. And drowning is, is also not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Better be careful. But at the very least, this coal is going to be very, very useful. And with that, I can return to digging down. Aha! Iron has been found, and my pickaxe is broke. Great. Could have got three iron, that would have been better than I could have made nine pickaxe. And since I have a very depleted amount of resources to work with, I'm going to climb all the way out of this cave and craft a new one using this crafting table. I should just grab it. I can also... Oh, we're out of we're out of stuff here. Hold on. They need re refilling. There we go. Back in business. And another tree has grown as well, which is very, very nice. And I might as well mine for saplings now so that they don't despawn whilst I'm down in that cave. Well, th that is if you could even call it a cave. It's more of a really, really long staircase down. A staircase which is going to get even longer. Now, I could hear mobs and... Oh, look at this. A fantastic cave. And my first priority down here is to try and get spiders. Since string will be very, very important. It's also rather dangerous down here. There's mobs everywhere. But obviously not enough to stop SB737. I'll land in this water, get rid of this guy, and continue in search of spiders. Or even better, a mine shaft. This is great for at least two reasons. First, wood. Wood is hard for me to get because I only have a limited amount of trees. And cobwebs. Yes, these cobwebs will get me all the string that I need. I just hope I don't run into any- I was about to say any cave spiders that'll ruin my day. That's right, you get down there. This is all the string that I could hope for. Let's have a little look. We've got 12. Perfect. To make wool and to make a bed. And now to escape the mineshaft into the water and continue collecting iron. Or even better, once I've crafted a pickaxe, I can grab not one, not two, not three, but four diamonds from, in fact, it's five diamonds. Look at that. Fantastic. Well, other than the fact that I'm having to eat kelp, things are looking pretty good. And there's still so much more to see in this cave. Although apparently extra diamonds is not one of those things. Oh, never mind. I've found some. And now to see if I can successfully get them. This all brings me to seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to make a chest plate. No, wait, there's loads here. It really doesn't get any better than that, does it? Nine diamonds just waiting for me. So we'll make chest plate and we'll make leggings. Which puts me in a much better position for surviving in this cave. Another one here. Hopefully it's a few again, but I'm guessing it's just a single. No, it's two. I tell you what, I'm getting good with these veins. Normally you only find one diamond at a time. This is what I was afraid of. I have now run out of food, which probably... Probably means it's time I got out of here as quickly as I could. All right, now I'm getting weak. You know, things are getting a little bit ropey. One and a half hours is all I've got. I've got to get out of here ASAP. And I'm in an ocean area. Okay, I, I, this is also bad. I'd better be smart and craft a door because I cannot afford to drown even a tiny little bit. I think I've made it out. My island is over in that direction. I think everything is going to be okay. Thank goodness there is plenty of kelp in here. Okay, I've just made a mistake. I don't want to just smelt only one kelp with that uh, kelp block, as that would be extremely inefficient. I'm going to eat all this to regain my health. Bone meal the seeds, because at some point, bread is going to be very, very helpful, mainly for when I want to try and get more villagers. I'm also going to craft myself a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel. I reckon they're both good. And things are just nicely starting to come together. And whenever I do these 100 days challenges, I always seem to go and defeat the ender dragon, do everything else, and then never really build a house. But this time, it's going to be different. 
I'm gonna build a house first. Just requires me to mine away this to flatten out the area. Smelt some sand so that I'll have glass. And get to work building a masterpiece with what I've got available. So I'm thinking first things first, it's on an island. I want to build it over water. Mission to build the base. Complete. I'll have a nice little staircase up. Haven't actually finished the house yet, but I need to sleep so that the bed can go here. And since there is so much sand available, I'm going to use smooth sandstone for the walls. Although such a project is going to require much more sand than I first realised, so I'd... Uh, I'd better get busy. More trees have also grown, which is good because I want to make the roof out of oak slabs. And I'm going to have these bits filled in with glass panes in between to make a, a, a nice little window feature. And once I have enough smooth sandstone, <laughs> that'll be the case on both sides. I've also got both my doors. The front is complete. And there's a creeper here. Where did you come from? I tell you, if you blow my house up, I will not be happy. For the sides, I'm going to do something like this with windows again. Looks like I'm going to need more glass too. It basically just all boils down to the fact that I need way more sand. And thankfully, I know just the places to find it. I think that should be every resource that I need once I've made a bunch of slabs. Yeah, I've got more than enough. That is the walls done. Well, it will be once I've got this down. Looking good. And the roof can now be done as well. Well, it could be done if I hadn't run out of wood. Good thing I've got lots and lots of trees that have grown. And there we have it. Job done. My house is complete. All right, well, it's, it's almost complete. It's currently hanging on, on nothing. There we go. Now it's actually done and I can move all of this stuff to instead be inside. Apples are going to be key because then I can cure villagers. And it's great that more wheat has grown as well. And with that out of the way, I need a better plan for food. What is that better plan going to be? Well, it's going to involve taking some dirt and building a platform over in this direction. And you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with this, uh, this random dirt platform. Well, right now, the answer is nothing. I am going to instead make a bucket, collect water, and tower up really, really high. Now that I'm up here, I place the water. It flows all the way down, and I'm going to wait for the sun to set. Look at that, there's a monument down there. Do, do I go for it? Maybe I should. And a shipwreck there. Okay, this is great coming up here. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I think first things first, I grab the shipwreck. Hopefully it's got good stuff, such as a treasure map. And treasure, including gold. That's useful. And to top it all off, a few carrots as well. From what I can tell, the map is absolutely miles away. You've got to remember, I'm stranded on a desert island in the middle of the ocean that's absolutely huge. So I don't think I stand much chance in going out searching for the treasure. More importantly, I want to use this knight to see what kind of mobs I can get to spawn in. The first one is a creeper. Okay, I'm sure there'll be more to follow. Spider. Oh, okay. That's perfect. I can get sugar from this. This is this is actually great. I've just got to make sure I don't die in the process, which is why I've been bringing out my shield. I've got diamond armor. I should be fine. In fact, if I can learn most of them in the water, that will definitely help. Creeper up, look. I have been poisoned. I've got to get this over with quick. Don't think it drops sugar. I think I've just got glowstone. That's unfortunate. And I'm now down to just half a heart. Let's see if take two goes any better. It might be a good idea to add more layers to the platform. And as you can see, there's not really any mobs there that I'm interested in, so they can be despawned by going up another 10 blocks, giving room for new ones to spawn in. Not the most successful night, but I have spotted a room portal down there, and I've got loads of kelp available for me to eat. Now then, is there anything useful down here? A bit of obsidian, and a bit of flint, and a, a, yes, a good shovel. Just a shame that there's no gold blocks as well. And my top priority is still to get a villager, so I'm going to keep chopping trees until tomorrow night. And I can turn the extra wood into slabs, just so that I have a bit of a bigger spawning platform. And hopefully this will mean that by the end of tonight, I will have a villager to cure and some sugar so that I can craft the fermented spider eye that I need. This is much bigger than it was. Hopefully, it leads to success. Straight away, a lot more mobs are spawning a lot faster. I'm sure it won't be very long at all until I get... What I need. I spent quite a bit of time up here. On day 15, I managed to get some sugar. And on day 17, I got even more. And down there, I've got a villager that can be cured. I just need to put him in a boat. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too difficult. Just got to avoid all the other mobs. I think I've got him in. Okay. Oh, no, it stopped raining. This is the worst thing that could have happened. No, don't don't let it happen. I'm also on fire. It's all going wrong. It doesn't... I, I don't know what's going on here. This is all going wrong. Great. He died. What terrible timing that was for the rain to stop. I really was so close yet so far. Now, food is still a problem for me, but I've got a good plan. I'm going to plant some carrots, bone meal them up, and plant even more. Then when the time is right, I'll be able to take this gold, turn it to nuggets, and use it to make golden carrots. But the time is not right just yet, and I don't have enough gold to do that either, so... I'm going searching for some. This cave was great for finding diamonds, but now its biggest use will be for finding gold. And also trying not to die. This is great because there's gold everywhere, but there is also mobs everywhere, that's the problem. So I've got to be very stealthy in the way I do it. Okay, I'm not being very stealthy at all. Just have to let them battle each other, then knock them off. Creepers are also very useful, except when they break your shield. You'd think it's not a massive issue because I can just craft another one, but 
I have no iron, so I need to try and find some of that. And I need to be very careful. I'm so dead here, ladies and gentlemen. I've left me. There's diamonds. Okay, everything's down there. I've just got to keep moving, though. I've lost my water. Jumping down there was definitely not my smartest idea. When you've only got kelp to regen, it takes forever. And more diamonds there as well. Oh, very. Oh, no, creep. Oh, no. I'll carefully get back my water. Grab these diamonds. And also these ones over here. Then iron must be mined. And a deep slate furnace crafted. Did you look at that? <laughs> Diamonds right below it. And this must be a proper iron vein, so we've got a block of raw iron here as well. Very nice. Only technically needed one piece for the shield, but getting a load extra is always nice. And this game is full of diamonds, which is an extra bonus too. Of course, you see me when I'm, I'm, I'm up a tower. Why would you not see me before? Well, I'm just going to take the hits, grab what I can, MLG down, and get rid of him. Now, I did leave another diamond behind somewhere. I just can't remember where. Not the ones that I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Things are definitely starting to get a little bit hairy down here. I've completely run out of food, but I will not leave until I have found that, okay, more diamonds, not the ones I'm looking for. I'm not leaving until I find a very specific diamond that I left because there were too many creepers in the area. What am I doing? I'm one shot away. I, I, this is just a disaster. It's only a diamond. I'm leaving. It is definitely not worth the risk of dying over. Even getting out of here is going to be difficult because I'm going to not drown in the process. My method for not drowning is just to make little pockets like this and then place a block and keep repeating that as I work my way up. Although I seem to have got to a, a, a bit of a roof. Aha, I see kelp and kelp means we're near the surface. Talk about stressful journeys. That was a nightmare. But I can see my house. I can smelt the gold and I can eat more dried kelp. Plus I've got loads of bones to bone meal carrots. Excellent. It's going to be great to have some food that isn't kelp, okay? <laughs> these are going to go a lot further, are these golden carrots. I can also make the rest of my armor. It looks like I've got that villager that I need to cure already. That really is fantastic. Don't walk in the water. I, I tell you, if he goes in the water and I lose him, then I will not be happy. Into the boat he goes. He's doing quite a bit of damage as I try to drive. Do you mind, mate? I'm trying... Whoa! That was way too close for comfort. But now that I've got him here, I'll grab a little bit more wood, build him a nice little safety roof, and I'll see if tonight I can get a second one, because then I'd be able to breed them. It's unlikely, but I always say, never say never. Although in reality, the, the mission was unsuccessful. So I'll just focus on brewing the weakness that I need. And to do that, I need to go to one very specific place, yes, the nether. Because I will need blaze rods and blaze powder. Now I'm coming down here to see if I have enough. It might be doable, you know. I, I think if I can just make a door and mine up the obsidian, then building myself a portal should not be a problem. I'm also pretty sure I have some flint in here from earlier. I do. We've got the iron ingots I need to make myself a flint and steel. I'm also going to extend this chest to be a double chest because I'm, I'm running out of space, as you can see. And since it is dark, rather than head through, I'll once again see what I can get to spawn tonight. Mission accomplished down there. Okay, just got to get a boat. This might to fall damage, but I've just got to place it, get in, that's it, and I'll swim far, far away so that all of them can despawn, and I don't know where that creeper's going, it's it's literally going all the way to the top, what's it doing? But anyway, with them despawned, I can safely add this guy to the curing area, and I can go ahead and get some sleep. All right, Nether, here we go, this is going to open up loads and loads of different doors, but before I can do that, I need to try and find a fortress. Finally, a fortress has been spotted. Now, I want to get just two things from here. Nether wart, which I found straight away, perfect. Diamonds are a bonus, not the other thing that I wanted, but I certainly can't complain of finding them. It's actually blaze rods. Blaze rods are the other thing that I want to collect. All right, guys, it's hard enough with blaze rods everywhere. I, I, blaze everywhere, I don't need you as well. I just want to concentrate on one thing at a time. My axe is broke, so I'm now using a pickaxe. Ten blaze rods should be enough, and I'll even get eleven for good measure. And now my, oh, oh, what am I doing? Okay, just be careful, SB, as I was saying. Now my priority is to make the long journey back to my portal. Preferably without doing any more risky jumps. Well, I've made it back more or less unscathed, but I've just remembered that I forgot to grab a brown mushroom from anywhere, and I, I kind of need them. Maybe there's one somewhere near my portal, but I'm, I'm not going to hold my breath. Nope, this, this cave is completely empty. But I reckon over there, there has to be some. I'm going to do the very risky thing of bridging over lava. I hear a gas somewhere, but I, hopefully I don't get seen by it. All right, never mind. There isn't a single one there. But I have managed to find some that I walked past earlier and completely missed. So spider eye successfully crafted and brewing stand created. So I just have to fill these up, put them into the brewing stand and begin the process. I do also only have enough gold for one golden apple. I kind of used it all on uh, golden carrots. So that is the other thing that I need to sort out. But once I have the gunpowder to those, they're completely sorted so I can leave that. And the nether is probably going to be the easiest place to get gold because I can just mine up a bunch of nuggets whenever I see them. And I've just seen there's a fortress really near my portal that I had no idea was there. I traveled loads of those blocks and went right past it. But I suppose it's good that I at least know about it now. I've got a little bit carried away in collecting gold, but it'll be useful for the golden carrots as well, which is why I got so much extra. But I can craft a second golden apple. I'm also going to make myself a diamond axe. Then I can give those guys a splash, give them some apples, and I'm going to be waiting a good five minutes for that, so I've got plenty of other things to be getting on with. 
such as getting myself more food, chopping down more trees, and sorting out some kind of place where these new villagers can live. I'm thinking a giant house on the water is going to be perfect for them. And I'm not too bothered about making it look amazing. I just want it to be functional and somewhere where they're happy to live. That's the base of this area. I wouldn't mind having torches and stuff on it though, because I do not want mobs to spawn. And I'm completely out of coal. Oh, by the way, those guys are ready now. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look for more coal. I'm sure it won't be too difficult. I'll just head down to my trusty cave. Although the only problem with this cave is it's quite low. Are they diamonds? All right, I take it back. There are no problems with this cave. As I was saying, the only problem with this cave is it's a bit low down to get coal. So I think I might have more success if I instead search the ocean and ransack any ravines that I find. I've managed to get 42 pieces, which is definitely more than enough. This roof is no longer needed so I can mine that. And a wandering trader. Normally, I don't like you guys, but this time, he might actually be worth it. Let's see. I mean, maybe a spruce sapling could be good, but he wants five emeralds for it, and currently, I have zero emeralds, so I, I might just have to postpone getting rid of this roof. Prioritize obtaining flint, and make this guy a Fletcher that I can trade with. And his trades are a bit cheaper, which is a bonus that I never thought of. There you go, good sir. Five for one spruce sapling. It'll definitely be nice to have access to a different type of wood. I'd really like for their homes to have massive glass windows all the way around, which means mine up lots of sand. And that's not a major problem. I've just got to make sure I go to the right areas. Ended up getting way more sand than I actually need, but it is nicely smelting as we speak. So I'll make a bunch of panes and start placing them all down. And that is all the window. Oh, well, not quite. I was going to say that's all the windows complete. And in one of these chests, yeah, I think this one, I've got a bit of spare smooth sandstone, which I wouldn't mind using. Don't want it to go to waste, so we'll put that there. I've also got doors here that are... Well used to stop me drowning, now they're aesthetic. I, I, I don't know, do I want that or do I want glass round? I'm going to test it out. I've also realised that I can't really use a, a wooden door because the villagers will just escape and I, I don't want them to escape. Yeah, I think I prefer glass there. But then an iron door is definitely required so that I decide who goes in and out. The buttons have to be on the floor because I can't power glass, so that, that's, that's that. It's pretty much done apart from the roof, kind of important. And since I've got loads of spare ones, I'm going to make it out of slabs, which will have the secondary effect of also making it spawn proof. And that is Operation Build the Roof done. I'll craft a few torches and have one there and one there. And I think it's going to look nicer if I actually make some lanterns and hang them from the ceiling rather than placing torches on the ground. And I'm now pretty sure all villagers should be safe in there. So it is time to lure them on through, which can be done very easily with job side blocks. I'm going to get you over in the corner. And I reckon if I could get a couple more pieces of flint, then it'd be worthwhile for me to make another fletching table. Wait, did the wandering trader despawn? I was going to say I should get the leads from the wandering trader because they're kind of hard to get leads because slimes are very rare. But that plant's unfortunately gone out the window. I'll just have to wait till, uh, till next time. All right, villagers, welcome to your new home. I'll put the buttons back. And now my only way to get more villagers is to get more beds. But to get more beds, I'm going to need quite a lot of wool. And the only way I can realistically think of to get the wool is going to be with string from spiders. And where's the best place to get loads of spiders? Well, of course, the answer is this massive platform. That place is easier to spawn spiders than it is to get villagers to cure and stuff like that. But battling them with all the other mobs around might not be quite so easy. I've managed to get two string already. And I might as well get some gunpowder as well whilst I'm at it. Just look at this. Loads of spiders. Enough for an entire bed, to be precise. If I get to 24 before the day ends, I'll be very, very happy. Yeah, it was a fairly productive night. 15 in total, and there's gunpowder there. In fact, there's quite a few creepers knocking about, which will be good, because when I go to the end, I'm going to want to have loads of gunpowder. So it makes sense to start collecting it now. And it seems there's a bit of string that I missed last night. That's always a bonus. Now, what kind of amount of string do I have here? Oh, just one more piece of string. You know what? I'm making an iron sword, and I'm heading down here, because I know somewhere down here there is a mine shaft. Or even better, I've just found a simple spider. Will you give me what I need? Uh, no. No, it won't. So it's a very good job that the mineshaft is just around this corner. Definitely makes life easier. And these diamonds I missed here last time. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's a bonus. Plus a spider also didn't drop me string. Are you kidding me? Looks like I'll have to stick to old reliable... More diamonds? Are you kidding me? But yeah, old reliable and mine up the cobwebs with a sword. And the more string I get whilst I'm down here will mean I'll have more beds and I'll have more villagers. So I'm going to get as much as I can. And you know what? I've got an idea. I bet placing the water bucket, yeah, that's way quicker. And I need to remove the spawner because, um, yeah, spiders are <laughs> causing me trouble. I keep getting poisoned. Slight side effect of my string plan does mean that it all fell down here. But as we said, 19 pieces of wool. That's six beds already. That's fantastic. Plus more diamonds. This is the ultimate mine shaft. Very, very useful indeed. Now, the next question is, are there more cobwebs knocking around here? It's not looking too promising, but uh, well, there's the odd one knocking about. And then there's a few spiders too. I tell you what, spiders just will not drop me string. 24. That's that's fantastic. Is that, what's that, seven beds? No, actually, it's not seven beds. It's eight beds. That is definitely going to get me plenty of villagers, 
just what I needed tonight. And in fact, I can make those beds right now and go to sleep in one of them. Well, guys, let me tell you, today is your lucky day. I've got lots and lots of beds for you. And not only beds, bread as well. There you go. Three for you and three. Don't go and take each other's bread. No, if you just taken it all, I have to craft some more. I, I, I think they both need bread for it to work, but they might share it out. I don't know. I don't know who's got the bread now. There you go. There's some for you, and there's some for you, and you. Look, you're, you're the one just taking it all, aren't you? I guess you're a bit far away from your beds right now to breed, but, but give me baby villagers, okay? And whilst I wait for that to happen, I will continue mining trees to craft more sticks to get more emeralds. And look at this. The great spruce tree has grown. Hopefully I can get a few saplings from it. Because eventually I want to place four of them together and get a giant spruce tree. Which gives you so, so much more wood. And I also think that it might be smart to build a bit of an offshoot area that's an orchard. Because I just haven't got the space in that little island to place down loads and loads of trees. So I reckon having a big area for that would be perfect. That's the general spacing of the trees. I'm going to have to do that all the way around. But I have no dirt left. Because I decided to use it all as part of this platform. So I'll get that modified so eventually it's just all slab. Then I'll have a place to plant down all my trees. And have we got any baby villagers? That's the big question. And the answer is uh, no. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, wait, we do. Wait, where did you turn up from? Okay, well, well done, you two. This is just what we needed. The third villager. Hopefully the first of many more to come. And I'll continue cracking on with this big orchard build. Well, I would keep cracking on with it if, if I hadn't run out of slabs. Yeah, these are my, my, my last few. Good thing the spruce tree's still growing quickly. And I'm going to grab a bunch of saplings because I have so, so many of them. And get them all over this island. Yep, with these oak trees, it is definitely a case of the more the merrier. And I might see quite a lot of these spruce saplings. Six, which is great. So I could have... Four there, and another three right here. And we've got two baby villagers now. Oh, brilliant. Might as well put the spruce to good use as well by adding a nice border. I really think this is going to look great by the time it's done. I planted loads and loads of saplings. Hey, look, we've got a golem too, but I planted loads and loads of them and then just waited four days for them all to grow. So now I'll have absolutely no shortage of wood and can properly finish this orchard. Another wandering trader. Have you got anything good? Oh, dark oak saplings. Although to grow them, I'm going to need four, so I'll need a few more emeralds. And thankfully, getting those emeralds is now much easier due to the fact that I have villagers uh, that will trade my sticks. Which, look at that, we've even got cats now. It's becoming a proper village. Six villagers there. Now in Gollum, this deserted island is suddenly not as deserted as it used to be. So I'll get three more saplings bought, and finally... I want to get a mangrove proper ghoul as well. Thank you so much for your help, good sir. Then I'll get back to chopping down trees and building the orchard. And it is done. The, uh, the orchard is complete. I'm just going to plant down these final few saplings, one in the corner. And then I can mine up these trees, which have already grown. And I have also got this giant spruce tree that I've grown that I want to mine up. So I'm going to build up to the top. You get so much wood from them. Look at that. Over two and a half stacks, but you don't seem to get four saplings from them each time, which does make me worry that this maybe isn't the most renewable of processes. But on a more positive note, it has got me a lot of logs, which means it has got me a lot of sticks and a lot of emeralds. In fact, I have so many logs to go out that I want an extra Fletcher. Wonder which one's going to be my volunteer. Here he is. And also do a bit extra trading with these two. Over a hundred emeralds. Fantastic. They'll be very useful later. And I've now got two iron golems. <laughs> It's really uh, coming to life the place, isn't it? But my priority is still to mine up lots more trees. It'll be interesting to see just how much I get from mining all of that up. According to my estimations, probably roughly another 32 emeralds. And I hope these villagers don't mind being woken up for a little bit of midnight trading. Don't you guys worry about a thing. And whilst I've got these four dark oak saplings, I reckon I get them planted over here. Bit of spell. Like, oh, look at that. We can get some sugar or something again. Can't say no to that, although I, I, I actually dropped, got, they, they dropped nothing. But I just got poisoned. Well, that certainly it was a waste of time. Now, the first thing that I'm going to use this great supply of emeralds that I have for is a composter. Then the plan is to upgrade the farmer. And I'm hoping to get the trade where he gives me golden carrots. I did. I can buy a load. And that makes life much, much better. Plus, I've got an endless supply of cookies and suspicious stew. What does the suspicious stew do? Be a good one, please. Oh, it's night vision. Oh, well, thank you, good sir. Things just keep getting better, don't they? I might as well use these extra gold nuggets for more carrots. Things are certainly getting easier now that I've got villagers. But... To make any further progress, I want a librarian. I want to get things like mending and unbreaking. They'll be so, so helpful. However, to get those, I am going to need books. And to get books, I'm going to need paper. Whilst I do have a little bit of paper, I don't really want to use that because it's, it's quite precious. It's going to be rare in this world until I get sugar cane from a wandering trader, which might not happen for a very, very long time. Instead, I reckon my best bet is going to be to go to a stronghold. I've already got the blaze rods for that. So all I need to get next is... The Ender Pearls. I don't think this warp forest is going to be big enough for Endermen to be the way to do that. Especially when they don't even drop me them. I think instead, I'm going to try and find a Bastion. Because one pearl's a good start, 
but I'd still like many, many more. Finally, a bastion has been located. It looks like either a stables or a housing one, if I had to guess. Yep. It's, oh, I can't just stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just trying to do a little clip there. I do not want that. As it was saying, yes, it's housing. And there's a gold block waiting for me at the top. I'm actually going to make a gold helmet because these guys can be pretty mean. So I, I don't want to anger them too much. All right, we're friends now, I think. Yeah, look at that. It loves me. You want a golden got mate? There you go. Fire resistance. That's not bad. Better grab a few extra blocks because apparently I have none left now. And then I'm going to jump down, grab lava, loot a chest, and spleef my enemies. Okay, that didn't quite work. And there we did. It, it, whoa, I've just been stabbed in the back. Please don't ever do that to me again, you stupid hoglin. Pig step, let's go. Another piglin brute that thought he could defeat me. I'm going to die. I need that fire resistance. Yeah, I forgot that if you stand on this, you, you're more likely to be in the lava. That was uh, careless. But that's why fire resistance is always very useful. And there's one more gold block up here. Plus a chest in this section with... Oh, perfect. This is definitely a very, very nice bastion. And ancient debris. Oh, look at this. Look, I'm so glad with what I'm getting here. There's a few extra gold blocks up here that I want to grab. I've also got some piglins in a hole... And I'm ready to get- Don't shoot me, guys. I'm giving you gold. Come on. You like that? Wait, is this- Is this connected to a fortress, this bastion? No way. Well, would you believe it? It is. The end of the fortress goes into a bastion. That's so cool. More loot here. Gapples. Fantastic. Every bit of gold traded. Got some good stuff in there, but only got six pearls. Kind of rubbish in that department. It's a good thing that there's a wart forest on the way back where I will get the remaining ender pearls I require. And I'll even find a few diamonds on the way back too. Now this right here is going to be the perfect fortress for finding witherheads because it is in this biome. So I've made a note of the coordinates for this place for when I want to battle the wither. I've made it to the wart forest, so it's now time to collect up my ender pearls. Which hopefully shouldn't take too long, I've just got two for two. That's unheard of with endermen normally. And that is ten ender pearls. I think I'll get fourteen and it should be enough. This poor enderman is on fire. I had uh, better put him out of his misery. Although he, he didn't drop me a pearl. Hopefully this one down here is a little bit better. Oh it is. And that is mission accomplished. So it's time to get out of here and get back home. Home sweet home. Of course, it's, it's dark and rainy. Just what I didn't want. But I can sleep through it. It's going to get myself a new chest for valuable stuff. So the direction of the stronghold is... <laughs> I can't even see where the pearl went. Either I'm blind or... I don't know. Okay, we went that way. I'm just, just going into the trees, that's why. But anyway, the stronghold is this way. So that's where I'm going. I think this is the furthest that I've gone from the island. I'm going really going to uncharted waters. Well, that's great. Just got mining fatigue from a stupid Elder Guardian. So I'll have to wait for that to wear off before I can dig down. Now, according to my calculations, it's pretty much right down here. The mining fatigue also thankfully wore off in the time it took me to get here. So I can just get busy digging. Looks like that's mission accomplished. I think... We're, okay, if the gravel would just get out of the way anyway. I believe, yep, I'm in it. Now to see if I can track down the portal room. And it's also great that I found the room of bookcases. They'll be very useful when I want to upgrade my gear and when I want to get librarians. And whilst I'm next to a cave, I should pro... Oh, brilliant. I was about to say I should probably get some lapis because that is also going to be necessary. Found some straight away, didn't I? Look at that. Eight pieces, lovely. Definitely want more than just eight, but it's a very good start. I'll turn all these into bookshelves to save on a bit of storage and continue my search for a little bit more lapis. A search which is going very successfully indeed. I think I'm also going to need two diamonds because I didn't bring any with me. And four obsidian as well, but I can just get that from the portal room, so that's not a problem. Or I could also get it from the end, so yeah, definitely not a problem. I don't have to even think about obsidian right now. This is unexpected. A dungeon. A dungeon that contains a bit of gunpowder and a gapple. That's not too bad. And it all connects to a mine shaft, really? A mine shaft with spiders that are poisoned. You know what? I'm, I'm keeping away from there. My priority is definitely still to track down lots and lots of diamonds. Actually, not that many. I just need three because I need a new axe. And then two more for the enchantment table. I see no other way to find them other than going through here. But I am a bit worried because it is just a matter of time before this axe breaks and then I won't really be able to defend myself. Okay, look at this. This opens up to a massive cave. As long as I survive this place, it is definitely just what the doctor ordered. Well, the poison is doing its best to make sure I don't live. I'm okay now. You follow me down here, really? You're crazy. You're gonna have to be put down. Operation Fine Diamonds is a success. Finding one is a good start, but my overall goal is to get five of them. And there's a second one up there, which was good, but there was actually two there, so I now have three. I'm gonna make my axe. At least if my current one breaks mid-combat, I'll have another one on my hotbar. So all that remains now is to find two more. And in a cave like this, I'm pretty confident that it shouldn't take me too long. That's another one, and it's two. Fantastic. All diamonds obtained that I need, plus plenty of lapis. There's nothing more for me to do other than just get back to that stronghold. Portal room's been located. Let's get rid of you. I'm going to grab the obsidian I need from here. Might as well. Then that can be crafted. The eyes can be added. And before I actually go through... I'm just going to see if I can find the other bookcase room quick. Because it would just be handy to grab the extra paper from it. Mission accomplished. And there's lots more paper here. So that has definitely made the journey worthwhile. Well, without further ado, here I go. To the end. Of course, it's a long way across. And I don't really have 
the blocks to make it. Don't have an ender pearl. So it looks like I've got no choice but just to use this wall, otherwise I would literally be trapped. I reckon making that jump won't be an issue. I, how did I do that? What? I kind of landed on the edge of the block. I, I do know that's the thing, that if you kind of land as you're climbing onto a block kind of thing, you can survive without taking fall damage. And I can only guess that is what just happened. Since I did completely screw up my MLG. I think I've broken every tower, which means my next task is to finish the job. And I'm also going to try and grab eight obsidian whilst I wait for it to perch. So that very soon, I'll be able to craft an ender chest. But right now, I've got more important things to worry about, like this dragon coming down to me. It's already down to less than half health. And as it glides about, I can continue mining obsidian. I reckon one more. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can land these. All right, we land them for breakfast. Oh, there's an enderman to grab me at the bottom. What's that all about? Two of them. Man, that was not part of the script. Thankfully, I can easily build up. But it still is not what I was expecting. Well, anyway, that's both them gotten rid of and the dragon is pushed again can i do it can i defeat the dragon you bet i can there we go and i'll also craft my ender chest in the meantime i've got five minutes before that xp despawns and before that happens i'm gonna try and do some of this i'll start with my boat flame and power three kind of rubbish but anyway all my armor can have some as well these are not the best at all but you know what i'll i'll <laughs> why are these so rubbish that's more like it on breaking three prop four then i could just kind of come over here and grab a, a, a little bit extra to get above level 30 and rinse and repeat. Oh, silk touch, that's perfect. Now I can actually use ender chests. I think that's all of them done that I wanted to. It really is the key to efficiency, isn't it? Because look at all the levels I'm still gonna get from this. Probably up to 50, maybe. Yeah, over 50. There's definitely no complaints to be made over that. I can also, I'll keep the ender pills, but I can put things in the ender chest and properly mine up these bookshelves all thanks to silk touch. It really is fantastic. I just pop all of that into the ender chest and I can continue with the mission to explore the end. I've spotted one. Will it have an elytra though? I hope so, but it's not looking too promising. I take it back. You see that little thing right there in the middle? That means it's an end ship. And I can see it coming to view now. Perfect. Just one good end of pearl throw. Don't mess this up, SP. We're okay. And then a little bit of bridging. And I have made it. I'll start off by eliminating the shulkers. Although whether they drop me their shells or not uh, remains to be seen. Nope, not one of them. Took out three. Didn't get a single shell. But I'm sure one of these guys will be better. Yes. Okay, on that ledge. And another one there. Okay, oh, but it's on top of that shulker. And I am getting absolutely battered here. I think I'll just accept that I'm not getting down there. And instead, just loot these chests. That is very, very good. Because I can put the two shovels together. And is this two end cities in one? Whoa, I have never seen that before. Wait, it's not. It's just that it's generated really weirdly. So that it's kind of gone into each other. I didn't even know that could happen. Obviously, yeah, this combination shouldn't be the case. Got another shell from this guy. So those uh, that missed one in the other place. Isn't a problem anymore. And I can begin the process of collecting ender chests, as well as crafting shulker boxes. I really hope I make this. If I don't, then everything's going wrong, okay? Come on, don't run out. Please don't run out. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. But it's a bit of a panicking thing as it's happening and you're floating and you're just wondering, what will you last long enough? Anyway, that's more gold, another sword, just lots of nice things. And of course, the elytra. If one of these guys could just give me one more shulker shell, that would be perfect. It has as well. Just means that I can craft one more shulker box. And now with my firework rockets, finding and getting to more end cities will not be a problem. Oh wow, look at this. One there, one there, one there. They're everywhere. Which is just the way I like it. Really? There's another one there as well? That's four really, really close to each other. It just doesn't get any better than this. There's so many in and around me that I'm kind of losing track of which ones I have and haven't been to. But I'm fairly certain this is a brand new one. Yep, indeed it is. And there's another one. I just want to go home, but I, I can't stop when they're all here. This really is unheard of, isn't it? And there's a sixth one there. This is just, this is like Christmas, guys. I just can't stop getting them. Hang on a minute. Never mind. All right, I'm going back in circles. I've already been here. So I'm guessing I've already been to this one as well. Yep, I have. All right, that means it's definitely time to go home. And finding an end gateway will be the best way to do that. That's good news. I've spotted one up ahead. So I'll head on through and then my priority has to be to get mending and unbreaking on the elytra. And whilst I'm here, I might as well grab the egg too. And of course, I've made an end of an angry. Look, mate, I I'm much more powerful than when you last saw me. I'll even put my chest plate on for extra security. Taking me on is a bad mistake. There we go, got the egg, got the achievement, and I can go through the portal. That looks like I was spawning a tree. Good to see that uh, my island is under good guard. And loads of XP went through the portal, I guess. Look at that. <laughs> got up to 60 levels. And now that I'm home sweet home, I can go to bed. I'll put that on there. And my biggest issue right now is that my armor is, is kind of breaking. So I shall go over here to grab a bit of wood. And then I can craft a few more beds and a couple of lecterns. The extra beds will mean I'll have more baby villagers soon on the way. And the lectern means that I'll soon get mending. I've got it. It didn't take long at all. 22 emeralds. Okay, good sir. 
I will be back with them very, very shortly. I believe they're all... Yeah, look at that. Loads of them in there. And I'll just buy one for now to lock him into the trade. Then his job site block can be right here. And this guy's offering infinity. I can't say no to that either. All of a sudden, having 17 million arrows is no longer necessary. And finally, the other book that I'm hoping to get is Unbreaking 3. Again, I wasn't going for this, but I can't say no to looting three because that'll be perfect for when I want to defeat the Wither. I do also think it might be wise for me to grab a little bit extra wood, which with an efficiency four axe is now way, way faster. And then I can trade for extra emeralds and we'll be able to afford on breaking three when I eventually get it. Taking quite a bit of time, but finally I've got one. So you're finally allowed to leave and, and be with all your friends. I don't think we've got any more baby villagers and I've used up all the villagers for trade, so... I need more bread. I got stuck in the door. So yeah, the thing that I'm missing is more bread, which I can easily get by harvesting the wheat. So there you go, guys. Get me some more baby villagers. Or not. They're, they're just literally all going to bed and leaving the bread. I didn't make this bread for nothing. So grateful. That's it. <laughs> Look at them walking out of bed for it. <laughs> you guys can't make up your mind. And whilst they do that, I am going to need lots more wood because I'll need lots more emeralds to buy all the books from those guys. With every tree chopped, two stacks and 39, all of which can be traded for emeralds. And we've got those extra baby villagers that I was hoping for. A bunch of the mending will be perfect. And I'm also wanting to get prop four on this, which I've managed to do so I can merge him. But merging him does require an anvil, something I don't currently have. There we go. Now to add the mending, which can also be shoved on elytra. And I will put it on the rest of my armor, but first I need to get a few more levels. So in this moment right now, I'm having to grab quartz, which has just nicely cut me to level 30. Now I know that the level 30 one is an efficiency 4 one, but hopefully it's not silt touch as well. Oh, that's perfect. That's absolutely fine with me. Fortune 3 would have been a bonus, but it wasn't a necessity. Now to add mending to these, infinity to the bow, and looting 3... Well, I was about to say looting 3 to a sharpness 5 sword. Apparently the anvil had other ideas. So it's a good job that iron is not something that's in short supply. Although apparently my levels are in short supply. I'm short by a little bit. 7 to be precise, so it is back to the nether to collect more quartz. It is taking a bit of time to get these levels because I I'm having to first repair all my armor before I can start gaining. suppose it's not the end of the world though, because I will be much happier when the durability is much higher. I reckon that should be all the levels that I need, so I'll get them combined. That's fantastic. I would still like to grab a couple more mending books just to go on either of my pickaxes. However, I reckon I can worry about that later, because now that I have a looting three sword, and whilst I have all of this fire resistance, I think I should grab a little extra food. By a little extra, I meant a little bit more than three golden carrots, I guess. <laughs> I'll grab some suspicious too as well. As I was saying, I'll grab a little extra food, and then make my way over to the good nether fortress, so I can get all of of the wither heads. Here it is. I'll drink some of this so the blaze don't affect me and begin searching and collecting. Perfect. Successfully got the first one and the second one back to back. I don't think I've ever had that kind of RNG two in a row and it means I only need to obtain one more. And there we go. The third one. That means I just need to grab four of these and I can fly my way back home. Here we are. Got an enderman trying to get to me, but thankfully he couldn't get through. And I've no idea where the best place to fight the wither actually is. Although before I worry about that, I suppose I'll first focus on getting plenty of emeralds to get mending on my pickaxes. Then I'll be ready to go and get netherite, and once I've got netherite, I'll take on the wither. There you go, good sirs. And that is job done. I'll finally put this on my boots, and I think I'm ready. Ready to dig down, and hopefully not end up in lava. I've got to be careful about that. And then go on a big, well, a big strip mining spree I did not expect ancient debris that quick, but I'm certainly not complaining. And anytime I come across quartz, I'll also mine that so that it'll repair the pickaxe that I've got in my offhand. I really am killing two birds with one stone here. Nicely done. I've got another one. Sadly, it is just one. I still haven't worked out if it's faster to just strip mine like this or if, whoa, 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 whoa. Or if it's better to just kind of do a big wide tunnel like this and expose way more blocks. It's hard to say, but all I know is I'll just keep mining. There's another one. Oh, it's another two. Fantastic. Bringing my total up to five. But I also have two back at home, so technically I'm up to seven, which is great. Aha, another one. Fantastic. Brings me up to six, but I can get two netherite pieces now. And whilst I'm doing this mining and search... Okay, we've got another one. Fantastic. As I was saying before I got interrupted by the ancient debris. Whilst I'm doing this mining and searching, I want to remind you guys that I'm trying to hit 4 million subscribers and I'm so close. So if you're new to the channel and enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe. Or if you're already subscribed, please could you get a friend or a family member too, because I, I really want to hit 4 million soon. Anyway, now it's back to digging and hopefully finding ancient debris. Oh, look at that. It's three together. That is absolutely perfect. Those three pieces that mean I could get three lots of netherite armor. So I'm going to attempt to find four more ancient debris, and then I reckon I'll be ready for a wither battle. And another. And finally, the remaining two that I need. So that means I can finally make my way out of here. Well, I will if I can somehow find a way through the lava. Okay, this is a little bit hairy. You know what? 
Chest plate's going on. And I'm risking it all and going to try and swim out. All right. Looks like I'm going to make it. There's a strider up here waiting for me. Hello. Don't you get in the way now. Get out of here. And I can fly back to the portal. Now, whilst they are smelting, I am going to need gold to put with it to make them into ingots. And I reckon an ocean monument could be the key. It is on my list of things to, to do anyway, is to take on an ocean monument. So I might as well go for it. If I'm quick, I can get into the top before mining fatigue kicks in. I have. And then we can take on this big fella right here. I reckon arrows are going to be the way to do it. They do quite a bit of damage, especially when you get up close. Just got to make sure he can't damage me too much. He's got to be low. There we go, got him. So I've just got to track down the other two. I hear him, and I've got him. I've got him with a sword this time. And whilst the sharpness five sword, do you mind? I'm trying to get some air back here and, and, and commentate. That's what I'm saying. Whilst the sharpness five sword is good, it is ten times safer to keep ducking and dodging and peppering it with arrows. Just got to be not too far away, otherwise the arrows are kind of useless as well. And I've only just realised that the eye on the front of them moves. Why have I never known that? Does your eye move as well? What? Well, how have I never known that the, the old Guardian's eyes move to the where the laser is? I, yeah, I had no idea. Pretty revolutionary if you ask me. Anyway, if I swim all the way around the outside, I should get to the third Elder Guardian. Yep, there he is. And I should probably nip back to get myself some more air. I'm still blown away that their eye moves. I mean, that's I, why have I never noticed that before? Did you guys know that? I get rid of that little fella over there because he's causing a lot of trouble. All right, well, you, you seem to be protecting him. That's, I guess, why they're called the Elder Guardians. They protect all the other Guardians. Just not very well. <laughs> right, where's the other one going? You just swam away. Oh, well, good escape. Oh, is you? Okay, well, get out of it. I'm also going to drown here. Thankfully, the drowning process is, is pretty slow, so that's that sorted. Now, I have to wait for my mining fatigue to go, which is now the case, meaning I can mine up the gold, create my netherite ingots, and upgrade to full netherite armor. Now, I think I'm ready to take on a wither. I don't exactly know where the best place to battle the wither is going to be, but what I do know is I want it to be well away from my home. I reckon this spot should do it. I don't know what it's going to be like trying to battle it in water, Probably not a good idea, realistically, but what's the worst that could happen? I'm also going to quickly grab some blocks because they, they may come in handy. And we're off. Okay, it's it's going for it. Wait, wait. Oh, these can't hit me. I guess unless it gets a direct impact, it's not going to hit me. This might be the meta, you know. Just, just, okay, I've been, I've been hit now. Never mind. I probably should have brought more food. Things could get a little hairy, but it, it's already close to half health. That's good news. The netherite armor is coming in handy. Okay, it's coming in close now. All right, I've still lost three hearts. But I can do some damage with his sharpness five sword now. Okay, now I'm taking quite a bit of damage myself. I better eat. Continue attacking. Okay, we're regening. That's good news. Come on. We've got this in the bag. Fantastic. Once you have prop four netherite armor, <laughs> the wither isn't so bad. The area did not get remotely damaged thanks to the water. That's that's an extra bonus. Now I've just got to try and remember where my island is because I, I seem to have lost it. Okay, never mind. It's over here. And I could pretty easily just craft a beacon because I do have all the materials for it. But I feel like I want somewhere cool to actually put the beacon rather than just like slapping it down here. That, that would look a little bit boring. No, instead on my desert island, I'd like to build a giant castle. A castle with a long pathway leading up to it, which means I'm going to have to do quite a bit of tree chopping. And then inside the castle, I'll put the beacon. It's going to look fantastic. So first of all, I'm thinking of a nice long boardwalk that leads up to the castle in this direction. And now I need blackstone slabs for the base of the castle. Although I've just used all my normal blackstone to make normal blackstone slabs when I actually need blackstone brick slabs. So a bit of mining in the nether is gonna be necessary. I've mined up six stacks, in fact, more than six stacks, a few extras, which should be more than enough. I have also sadly run out of golden carrots. So I'll take the few emeralds I've got and also craft the wood here into sticks. Then I can buy more and purchase more carrots. And now it's time for me to fill out a big area with slabs, which will be the base of the castle. There we are, that's the whole area marked out. And the actual castle itself is gonna be made out of stone bricks. But as you can see from my supplies, I don't have any stone at all. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit short supply at the moment. But my plan is to take a shulker box and go on a big stone mining spree. I need 20 stacks to be exact. So yeah, quite a lot of mining ahead of me. Pretty much filled up my inventory. I think, yeah, I know I've exactly filled up my inventory. That should be the right amount. And quite a few of these are going to be cracked stone bricks. And for things like the stairs, stone cutter is going to be very, very useful. I need one, two, three, 
well, this many stairs to be precise. And then there's just a few of the minor ingredients that I need to grab so that everything will be ready and sorted. That's almost everything I need, but I've realized I'm going to be about three stacks short on stone after some calculations. And also acquire a bunch of redstone lamps, so I'm going to need redstone for that. Thankfully, I've already got plenty of glowstone to craft them. And in a big cave like this, redstone is everywhere. A Fortune 3 pickaxe definitely would have made this a bit faster, but redstone is so abundant that it shouldn't matter anyway. Nicely done. Mission accomplished. And there's redstone everywhere down here. I I'm just just gonna grab a little bit extra because I can't say no. Operation Craft the Lamps is complete and it is gonna require some nether brick fences. I've got the nether brick but waiting for the nether act to smelt back there. But whilst I wait I can definitely start to crack on with this build. That's the foundation level more or less done. Having the blackstone floor definitely helped marking it all out. But I right now need to start getting these little nether bricks back. I'll wait for one more to smelt then when it has I can craft an extra an extra fence. And if I'm not mistaken, I do need a few more. I need about 70, so we're, we're nearly there. I suppose whilst I wait for the rest of them, I can just get cracking on with the build. It's definitely starting to take shape nicely. Just going to have levers there for the lamps. And those final few extra fences could also be crafted. And I think what I'm going to do now is just focus on one of these towers. Instead of kind of doing it all together, I'll just do one at a time. It'll probably make things a little bit easier. And then all I need to do is repeat what I've done here on all the other sides. Fantastic, I've completed turret number one and I'll be doing the exact same thing on this one. And this is a bit of a sad moment. I think I've completely run out of firework rockets. I've got paper left though. I just need some gunpowder. I'd, I'd better do a bit of gunpowder hunting tonight then. I knew this mob platform thing would come in handy again sometime. Have we got any creepers down? We have. And looting three should really speed things up. Yeah, oh, 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 okay. I was about to say, yeah, I've got all the gunpowder I need. Six will do for now. But I did very, very nearly die in the process. I should probably remember not to be reckless when I don't have a totem. I should, yeah, I should just be more careful in life. But those can be crafted and I can complete turret number two. Now I just need to sort out connecting them in the middle. I'm very happy with how it's coming together. I think with those two towers in the background and like a, a, a wall that's higher there, it's going to be absolutely perfect. But before I build much more, I should probably focus on getting the other three stacks of stone that I'll need. Then I won't have to worry about it later on when I'm stuck on the top of a tower or something and thinking, oh, I need more bricks now. Makes much more sense to mine them up and sort them right now. There we go. Shouldn't really fire it, rocket up and out of it, take quite a lot of damage. But I like being reckless and living on the edge, so who cares? I'll get these bricks crafted, and then I will get busy building everything else. That is the job done. All of the adjoining walls are sorted. The only thing left to do is finish up both of these two towers on either side. That's turret number one complete. And finally, the second one, two. It looks great. It looks very, very cool to have that brick castle on the water. That, that, that floating tree is kind of annoying me, by the way, but... Yeah, I really like it. But it is, of course, still missing one vital thing. I'm just going to kind of cobble all my valuable blocks together. I need nine all, all of that. So one iron in the middle will work. And yeah, I reckon right here in, in plain sight, in view, you, you want to see a beacon, don't you? We're going to have that. We are going to put a beacon there. And finally, an iron ingot in. I'll give myself haste as well. Do I have to tick it? There we go. That's perfect. I think, yeah, it looks very, very good indeed. I think I just want to put some slabs around there, though. Blackstone brick slabs, ideally. Have I got enough with this stone cutter? It'll get me four more. It'll get me ten. Ten's not going to quite do it, is it? But it'll give me an indication. I think I need another two. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. The nether is, is exactly a long, <laughs> a long travel, is it? There's plenty of blackstone knocking about. I'll grab four pieces. Actually, I told a lie. I've grabbed six. Got a little greedy, didn't I? Turn those into slabs. And the white beam over there is okay, but I, I want a different colour. Hopefully, I can get a flat. Yellow, maybe not. I want, yeah, red. Quick, the sun's setting. I ain't going overtime today. I'm going to make it into a glass pane. Put that on top. Then you can't see it in the beam. Just makes things look a little bit cleaner. And I'm going to fill in these corners as well. I say no, I'm not. I prefer it without the corners filled in. But that is my castle. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And we did it. We survived in this very, very limited area. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was 100 days on a deserted island.